everyone, uh, Kim from the James Kennedy Public Library here with our April Kids Can Craft Take and Make or um, you can do it here at the library. It will be a seed starting kit for flowers. We'll, um, each child will receive a, this is called a choir, C-O-I-R pot made out of coconut shreds. Um, we didn't do the peat ones for various reasons. These hold water a little bit better and don't dry out as fast. You'll get one of these. Um, a bag of soil potting mix that will fill it and you'll have your choice between two seeds there's a perennial bee balm seed um, which attracts bees and butterflies and then there's an annual um, zinnia these are my favorite flowers so um, I just think they're lovely so and these are a cutting flower so you can cut and they'll regrow so everybody will get some seeds you'll get a little plant marker so you know what they are You'll put your soil in your pot, you'll put your seeds in your pot, and you'll water it. Um, you might want to put it in a little dish or a little Tupperware or something so that the water doesn't get all over the counter because it is not waterproof. Um, and then about in six weeks, um, I mean your plants will start, you'll have to keep watering them. And in six weeks when there's no danger of frost, because thunderstorms and tornadoes today, snow tomorrow, welcome to spring in Iowa. So about mid-May, you can either take the whole thing and put it in dirt and soil and place like a garden or a, a, a flower bed, or you can put it in a, a pot. Um, either, either one of these will grow in either containers or straight in the soil, and you don't have to transplant it, just put the whole thing in. The fun part of it is, is it does take marker, or you could use watercolor paints to decorate your little pot so it's pretty to look at while, you're, while your flowers are growing. So we have the permanent markers if you choose to do decorate your pot here, or you can do it at home um, with either watercolor paints or permanent marker. I would recommend if you use permanent marker, um, or I think any marker will really work actually, but when it gets wet, if it's not permanent, it might run a little bit, um, is wide tip. The fine tip doesn't like to go over this rough surface. Um, so you'll have bee balm or zinnia. Um, at this point, we are asking just one kit per child. Um, and this is geared for kids up over the age of eight. Um, but of course, we never say no to anybody else either. Um, so stop in and pick up your kit or you can work on it here. Thank you very much.